Okay, so now we'd like to take a look at our exercise, which is called the mapping of routes. When we need to take a look at a very complex environment like the typical GPRS environment, it's important that we understand all of the different ways that people can get in and out of the environment so that we can be sure that all of our security is in place. Our first assumption is, th is that you've done your network asset assurance and verified that the different network elements have been secured. Specifically, what we're looking at is, does each of your APNs have a firewall? If there is an APN that does not have a firewall, then obviously you have a clear opportunity for people to hack into your network. The second thing we have assured is that our access to the public internet for interconnect partners, for roaming partners, has a firewall as well, and that that firewall is secured. The area where we're going to be most concerned is here. We're worried about are there other network elements in our environment where someone not authorized can get into the GPRS environment. So we call this an exercise mapping legal and illegal routes. The first assumption is that you have put together a complete network map with a complete topology. Now this is a very simplified diagram with only one SGSN and only one GGSN, so it's kind of simple. But assuming a more complex environment, figuring out the different routes is going to be more difficult. So the first clear legal route will be from my BSCs to the SGSN, and from that G SGSN to the GGSN, and then from the GGSN to the legal APNs. Now verifying that each of these routes is authorized properly and is working is the first step in the exercise. We also assume that you have roaming partners, which would mean that a back and forth traffic between the partner and your gateway into your APNs, one or more of the APNs, is going to be also legal. Now, assuming that you have certain APNs only for the roaming partners, our legal path would then be more specific only for that APN. These other routes would then be illegal routes. The other illegal routes we need to be concerned about are any possibilities of people from out in the internal network getting in, anybody other than a roaming partner getting in, <coughs> and anybody getting from handsets into your internal network. So this is just a little illustration of what we need, mean by the legal and illegal route mapping. This is something that will really challenge you to think through all of the different aspects of the topology and give you a chance to have a meaningful discussion with the network engineers about the vulnerability.